All right, let's get started on the Bitsy tutorial series. So um, the first question, of course, is what is Bitsy? So as it says on the website, Bitsy is a little editor for little games or worlds. The goal is to make it easy to make games where you can walk around and talk to people and be somewhere. So it's a very simple concept. Bitsy games are, um, as the name implies, little 8-bit games um, with just one player character, a handful of things you can interact with, things you can do. But it's, it's super simple, so the goal is for it to be easy to make a game, but of course the game can't do very much. So let's show you what it looks like when you get into the game editor. So if you're on the Bitsy homepage, which by the way is just bitsy.org, all you have to do is click on this little cat to start making your game. And you should get something like this. Um, there might be one or two more windows open, but it should be something like this. The room should be blue, it should have very few things in it, um, and there's not a lot going on here. So let's walk through the interface, what all the stuff is. Um, so this is your room tab, and this shows you basically what your game looks like visually. And you can play it, um, and then you can move around your little character, um, and then you can interact with this little cat that says, I'm a cat. So we'll stop playing. Um, so this is basically just filler stuff for players who are making their first Bitsy game. Um, so how do we get other options to do other things? Um, so you see this tool button up here? Click on that if this isn't already showing up for you. And you'll find this basically tab up here at the top with all different things you can do for your game. Um, so we're in the room tab. So if you X that out, then there'll be nothing on your screen. So let's just go through these one by one. So click on, on the about. This is just information about uh, what Bitsy is, some tutorials um, and resources to get you started. Um, we've already gone through the room. This is where your game is. This is where you play it. So all the changes you make will, um, will show up here. So I'll just leave that one up. Um, exits and endings. So um, this, uh, as the name implies, the room is just one room, but you can have as many rooms as you want. So you have to uh, make your own exits that link from one room to the next. So this is where you will do that. Uh, the paint tab, we're going to go over in more detail in the next tutorial, but this is where you can design um, your, your player character, the, the tiles that make up like the scenery and the background and the like um, spaces of your world the sprites, which are the characters or things you can interact with that don't disappear, the items, which is exactly like a sprite, except it does disappear. Um, then you can uh, add animations to these things. You can add dialogue to these things. This is where most of the work you're going to do takes place. So we'll cover that in more detail next time. Um, here is the color palette where you can change the way that your world looks. So I tend to go for kind of uh, these lighter backgrounds. Um, and I'll just kind of mess around with something in here. And I try to usually go for something a little on the monochromatic side um, with really bold sprite colors that stand out really well from the background. Maybe something like that. Or something like that. Yeah, this can be anything you want. So I'm just going to leave this probably white for now. Um, and then you can create different color palettes if you want to. Um, Next up is dialogue. Again, we'll get into this in more detail with later tutorials, but um, any object that you interact with, so remember how we were able to talk to this cat down here, um, that all, all the dialogue, all the things, um, all, all the things that sprites or objects or things in the world say is going to occur here. This is also where you'll do all of the coding for the game, so I'll show you that in more detail later. Um, this is just to help you um, if, if you have a game with lots and lots of objects in it, this is to help you find what you're looking for easily because it can definitely get a little confusing if you have like 20 items and 15 sprites that you're trying to flip through. So this will help with that. Um, your inventory and your variables, um, we'll get more into this when we talk about coding, but um, if, if you want a player to be able to pick up something like a key, for example, um, you would do that here. These are just the defaults, and then setting variables occurs here. So if you don't know what variables are, we'll get into that when we talk about coding, so don't worry about it for now. Um, this is where you download games that you've made or upload files um, that you've already downloaded so that you can work on the Bitsy game. Um, record. Ooh, I didn't know about this, but I guess this is where you can just um, get little videos and screenshots of your game. 
This is all of your game's data. If for some reason you would need this, um, this is where that all is. Um, and then there's the settings tab. And then here is where you would create a new game. And it'll look like this. So that's the Bitsy interface. And then in the next tutorial, we're gonna get in a little bit more detail of how to make this look pretty. We're gonna talk a lot about the paint tab um, and we're gonna talk about visual design in Bitsy.